Marcus, uh, an opening two under to get your round going at the Omega European Masters, pretty please? Yeah, of course. Um, anytime you can shoot a, you know, a few under around here, it's quite a good score because it's so tricky. I mean, it, it seems quite simple. It seems fairly straightforward, but can certainly grab you if you hit in the wrong spots around here. Were you distracted by the views, the scenic views <laughs> around you? Oh, well, I mean, just looking around here, I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. Um, but, you know, you've got to keep your mind on the job as you sort of let yourself have a little bit of a look at when you're on the seventh tee and a few of the other times when, you know, you've got a few minutes to kill. But it's just an amazing scenery and we're very lucky to come here every year. What was the key for you today? Um, I don't know, actually. Um, it's quite a... <laughs> hadn't really thought of it just yet. I, I played really... I played pretty solid. I hit some nice iron shots. I capitalised on the, you know, the makeable opportunities that I had. Um, it was quite nice. A few decent pass saves towards the end. I, I missed it just in the wrong spots and then had, to, you know, had a couple of tricky sort of chip shots and bunker shots. Um, yeah, so a couple of great pass saves and apart from that just sort of kept at it and made a nice birdie on 17 to, um, you know, to get it back. Definitely a life-changing moment for you after your win in the Philippines and now you're here yeah. in Switzerland. Yeah, well, yeah, it's funny that uh, after I'd won, I, you know, I thought, oh, that's fantastic. I've you know, got a job back and then my next thought was, oh, cool, I get to go back to Kran. So, you know, it's, um, it's certainly nice to have the opportunity to come back here again. I've been here a few times and it never ceases to amaze us. Good luck this week. Cheers, thanks, thanks very much.